Hi everyone, uh, it's been a while. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick update, a DVD update and Blu-ray updates what I've been bought, buying this month. Um, I've, I've, been, I've had too much on uh, things have gone on over Christmas, uh, but I thought now's a good time to do it. Yeah, right, Jay, just give the doggy a um, So I thought now's a good time to do an update. Uh, just before Christmas. I know I'm going to get some new stuff tomorrow but and in the week but I thought I'd do what I, got, I should have got now. Some of them are from Bargain. Uh, yeah, some, some of them are my DVDs are from Bargain. Yeah, they do. Uh, DVD shops, Bargain DVD shops but I got a good price on what I needed for my collection. So I'm going to start with my DVDs and then I'll go to my Blu-rays. The right, first one is a Christian Bale film. It's a war film. And that is Rescue Dawn. I remember watching this many, many years ago when I was younger. Um, thought it was a little bit better then back in the day than it is now, but it's still a good film. Um, still a powerful film. And it's a true story as well, so I needed it in my war collection, and that is Rescue Dawn. Next one is a horror flick. Uh, I haven't got the first one yet, I don't know why. Uh, I've seen it at a good price, it was only £2 in the cheap DVD place. I thought, why not? And that is Jeepers Creepers 2. This is a creepy little uh, film. I thought the first one was better, but this one isn't too bad. Are you alright, Jay? This one isn't too bad. Um, yeah, got a good price, £2, so can't argue about that. There's inside, nice little booklets. I like them little booklet sleeves. Yeah, it's a good little film. That's nice, cheapest keepers too. The next one is a uh, Candyman. I thought this one was the best one I've lost. I didn't think much of the rest. But I thought, yeah, I'll get the original, the first one. I didn't think much of the rest as I said, so I'm gonna stick with this one, and this one will do me for my collection. I've got this cheap, that's Candyman. Next one I own on Blu-ray but I needed it for my collection, for my John Carpenter collection to get that up to scratch and that is a special edition of The Fog. I got this one cheap as well so I couldn't resist, two disc I own it on Blu-ray but <coughs> to get my John Carpenter DVDs up to scratch I needed it and for the price of £3 I couldn't moan. It's a nice two disc but anyway and it's the original and it's the best one. The next one is in a, in the Hitchcock collection, and that is, I haven't got this one in my, my collection, I'm amazed, but it's The Birds. The, didn't, I don't, they haven't done a remake, but this one is The Birds. I haven't seen it for many years, it's a great film. Weird sleeve, it's from the actual collection you can get, you can still look in there. You can get all of them in this, but I've seen this cheap. £2 again, so yeah, that'll look nice, go nice in the collection. Next one is another John Carmen's a film that I needed. Uh, James Woods is in it, and that is Vampires. This is another film that I remember watching years ago. Um, watched it the other day, and same thing as Rescue Dawn. Not as good as back as watching it in the day, but it was okay. Some gory bits in there, like. It was alright. But it goes with the collection. Needed it. Next one is Amazed. I didn't have it in my collection. But I've seen it cheap. So I thought, yeah. It's a two disc special edition. And that is Mark Cassese's classic casino. Don't know why I haven't, I haven't got it in my collection. But I have now. And it's a two disc yet. Which I might be seeing it for £2. So I thought, get it. I love that. That's good. Nice in the collection. Next one I had to uh, send away for from Amazon, uh, it's the only one I know, which is uncut, because a lot of them are cut to ribbons, and that is a film that I own on video, but I've been wanting for a while on DVD, and that is Zombie Flesh Eaters, in that case, as you can see, foreign writing on, <coughs> and there, uh, it's... The only one, I've, as I said before, I can find with 
the uncut scenes in and it's pretty uncut. Yeah, I've had many of them before which are cut to ribbons and they've had to sell them because they don't go to scratch with the video. But I've been after this one for a while, I've checked it out, it is uncut and it's a good little version. Don't think much of the case really but could have done with the original case like what I own on the video. But it'll do. I've got it now, so I've been after that one for a while. Next one is a Sam Raimi film. I watched it twice, I think. It's alright, it's okay. And that's Drag Me to Hell. These, it's different, it's a different type of horror. Uh, Sam Raimi is a good uh, director. Um, as you know, he's done some classics. And this one uh, is a different type of story. I force anyway, what no one's ever done before. Basically about a, a, a Norwegian, I think she's from, Norwegian Gypsy. Puts a curse on a girl. I'm not gonna spoil it. But yeah, it was a good watch and it was cheap, so it goes with my horror collection. That's drag me to hell. Next one, I've, I've looked at it a few times, but I've seen it cheap, £1.50. So I couldn't argue. I haven't watched it yet. So I don't know about it. Sounds a bit weird to me, like where the dead end up coming through. Um, what's I'll read? The dead discover means to contact the living through electronic devices like cell phones and computers. Blah de blah de blah. It says on the front cover the scariest movie of the year. But as I've said in other video updates, we've heard that all before. It's only a 15. So, I don't know, it's a blind buy, but for £1.50, couldn't argue that's a pulse. I'll give it a look. Next one I have seen, I mean, uh, many, many years ago, and uh, I've, got, I've been after it. I am going to get it on Blu-ray. I'm going to see it cheap. And that is uh, Mimic. I do like this film. I thought it was different, but the story was good on it. The effects, I thought it was quite creepy. It's only a 15, like, but it, it's different type of film. I, I really enjoyed that film. I've got a nice and horror collection, that's Mimic. The next two DVDs are foreign French horror films. Yeah, watch that inside over the Halloween period. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. One of the best films I've seen for a long, long time. Horror films, different story, good. So I thought, why not get some more? And that is Frontiers, which you haven't seen yet, but I've heard a lot about it. Another French, from the director of Hitman. I think it's French, yeah, French production. I think it's French, it is subtitle, I don't know yet. Frontiers. And the makers of Switchblade Romance and the director of Hitman, so I'll have to catch up with that. <coughs> and the other one is Martyrs. I've heard loads of good reviews on this. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm excited to watch it. <coughs> and uh, yeah, really looking forward to putting this in, watching it. I don't think I'll watch it every Christmas. Because there'll be other stuff to watch with the family, but when I'm on my own, I'll be watching this. I'm going to try and watch it on the big screen upstairs. That's my horses. Well, that's the end of Oh No, it isn't. I've got some more to show you. Uh, the last three DVDs that I've got are Multi Pythons, meaning, uh, no, Multi Pythons, Life of Brian. Collector's edition. I could not believe the prices of these. It's absolutely fantastic inside. You get the book, some cards, a bit of a film clip. I'll show it this way. I could not believe the price. There's the film clip. Some cards which I haven't opened yet, which will still stay sealed. And you've got the screenplay book of the name of life. And the actual disc inside. It's a nice. These are the collector's edition. I um, could not believe the price of this. This was £4. 
in a day. It's like an old shop, which you must made of it. I've never had it before. But yeah, I've watched it many, many times. I haven't watched this one yet. This edition, but that's me liking you get that in the collection. And the next one is Multi Python's The Holy Grail. Same again. Screen Bay Book. Screen Playbook. Which is looks decent, so I'll have to have a little look through that. Some cards. Film shot. But this one's got two discs on the Holy Grail. And this is also the collector's edition. Um, same price, £4. Could not believe it. So, we to have them in the collection. Obviously, getting on to, I had to get Monty Python, The Meaning of Life, which is my favourite out of the three. Well, I don't know, I say The Holy Grail and then this. I like The Holy Grail, it's funny. <coughs> this is not a collector's edition, this is just a 2 decks special edition. But if you have the price, things are not too bad. Fantastic, love this film. Can't wait to see it again. It's been many years since I've seen it, but I feel like a laugh. I'll bang it in. Right, that's the end of the DVDs, and now the Blu rays for this month is starting off with Disney's classic The Lion King on Blu ray. Been wanting this to come out for many, many, for a long time now. Yeah, and that last it has, and I wasn't that disappointed. It's a double play. Really lovely film. Looks nice, nice sound effects in there. Uh, since we've had it, we've had it on a lot of times with the kids staying at ours and that. But uh, yeah, I love that film. The next one is the Omen trilogy. I'm absolutely made up about this now. I was down to get it. Um, it's only got the three originals on it, it hasn't got the remakes or the new one, the remakes or The Awakening, it's only got the three in the trilogy, which is The Omen, Damien Omen 2 and Omen 3, The Final Conflict. <coughs> I was well to get it, because they own it on DVD, the box set. But in the box set they own, you've got the remake and Omen Awakening, I think. There it is inside the sleeve. And there's three discs, the Omen, Damien, Damien Omen 2, and then the Final Conflict, Omen 3. Fantastic film, classics, all. They've got to be like up there in the horror genre. Yeah. And that's the Omen trilogy, and I uh, was not disappointed to pick. Picture quality and sound of this films are top and they look brilliant on Blu ray. Big upgrade from DVD. It only cost me £12 for this, so I made up with that. The next one I got for say quite cheap. I own it on DVD, but I thought why not? And that is seven. Cracking film. Uh, Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman in it. Been wanting this for a while on Blu ray. And it's inside. This looks really nice on Blu ray. Very happy with it. I know the American version is a lot better. It's got the, uh, like a book with all pictures in it. But for the price, I think I got it for £7. Can't argue, £7. £7. Pound. <coughs> Quality sound and, and Sounds great out of it. And at last, I got been wanting this for in my collection. I own it on DVD, but been wanting it in my Blu ray collection for a long, long time. And at last, I seen it as a good price. It was brand new from HMV. I think I bought it for £10. I think it might have been. I'm not too sure. It might have been a bit cheaper. But that is The Shining. At last, I've got it in my collection. And I was not disappointed. Big upgrade from the DVD. Inside, the little kid on the bike going through the hole on the desk. 
There's no artwork on it, no cover work, plain cover book, what a film. It's up there in the top five, I've, I've done me recent videos, so I made up to them that on Blu-ray at last. And the next one is the first Avenger, Captain America, Steel Book. Really getting into these. Two disc I think it is. I don't know there, what is it? Blu-ray and is that a digital copy yet? Digital copy and DVD. Love the steel book on this. It looks really nice. Um, this surprised surprised me, this film. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I do like the uh, all these ones out of Marvel, the characters, Iron Man's my favourite obviously, but uh, Captain America, this film was really good, and I can't wait for the Avengers, uh, the Avengers film next year, where they're all together, that'll be good there, but yeah, that's a cracking film, good Blu-ray, and uh, a couple of box sets to show you, um, first one is the Jurassic Park, Ultimate Trilogy. Nice, you've seen it all on other people's videos. Uh, excited to get this. The only thing is that disappointed with it is. Back in the day, it looked absolutely fantastic, but with the high def, you can see the special effects are a little bit. Not up to date as today, but still good films. But you can notice with the dinosaurs that you know the effects back in the day was not good compared to now, but still look good. Great films. You can't get wrong with a bit of like Jurassic Park. Good films. Uh, this box set. I own the box set on DVD. But we had to get it on Blu-ray, and that is the Ultimate Rambo Collection. Must say, it do look better than that on a um, normal DVD. Look, the grey bullets. <coughs> One, two, three, four. All four Rambos. Can't argue about that. I know a lot of people don't like it, so that's the slam on Rambo, but. Back in the day, they were brilliant. I mean, still are some hell of watching Rambo brilliant, anyway. I thought the last one's superb. Uh, the actual Rambo, the last one he done. I love that one. That's a good one for the collection. The last one I've been wanting for ages is a box set. And that is the Super, Superman box sets. Bought this for £30. It's a good little box sets I think. But yes, there's probably too much symbol. Put it up there. I think this is a cracking box set. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight discs. Can't learn about that. Um Superman 1, Superman 2, Superman 3. Superman 1, Superman 2, Superman 3, Superman. Um, what is that one called? Uh, a quest for peace, and then the new Superman. Uh, Superman the Return. Uh, Superman one, Superman two. Oh, the best out of a lot, I think. Um, Superman three is okay. Uh, Superman quest for peace. Didn't want to do that one. And the new Superman was all right, not bad. Well, Superman 1, Superman 2, and my favourites out of them. If you do look really nice on the blue. That's a nice little box set. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, wish you all a happy Christmas and I hope you all get your Blu rays, what you want, and DVDs. Thanks for watching this long video. Uh, and I'll keep up with the updates. So see you soon, have a good one and a good new year.